you are an intern working in Atlanta, Georgia office of Dr. Priya Wayne, MD. Dr. Wayne is a specialist in rare neuromuscular and musculoskeletal disorders. You've been working with Dr. Wayne for the last year, and due to this experience, you've gained a great deal of knowledge about the human body and muscle physiology. You're also a college student, and working with Dr. Wayne has allowed you to gain first-hand experience with some of the material that you're learning in your human physiology course. Just last week, you had to turn in an assignment comparing and contrasting disorders of the neuromuscular junction. You learned all about several issues, including, including myasthenia gravis, sarin curé botulism, and Eaton-Lambert syndrome. In this case study, you will use what you have learned about skeletal muscle contract contractions, the neuromuscular junction, and sliding filament to explain what might be happening in two different patients. We're going to start with Jeff Slater. Jeff Slater is a biochemist working for a bio warfare lab at the CDC. He is currently working on a project to develop a new neurotoxin and is using sarin as a model substance. Suddenly, while working, the lab alarm goes off and Jeff accidentally knocks a bottle of sarin over and a bit of the liquid splashes onto his arm between his glove and his lab coat. He suddenly starts to feel dizzy. His heart starts pounding harder than ever, and he has shortness of breath. He feels incredibly sluggish as he tries to get to the exit. As he approaches the lab door, his muscles cramp up and he falls down and hits his head, knocking him unconscious. His colleagues from across the hall happen to see him fall and call for help. Jeff is given oxygen and taken to the nearby hospital, which happens to have a neuromuscular specialist. The sounding of the alarm turns out to have been just a routine testing of a new system. Jeff is admitted to the hospital and Dr. Wayne examines him. Jeff is unconscious but seems to be experiencing some paralysis, so Dr. Wayne orders blood work. Results are listed below. Dr. Wayne looks over the results and knows from Jeff's colleagues that he is a bioweapon biochemist. Dr. Wayne figures out that Jeff has been working on synthesizing or making a new sarin-like biochemical weapon and suspects Jeff has a type of poisoning that is similar to that of sarin, S-A-R-I-N. Patient two is Sandy. Sandy is a 25-year-old preschool teacher who has not been feeling like herself lately. She has been feeling quite tired and her co-workers have commented on her droopy eyelids. Additionally, she is experiencing weakness in her arms and legs, has difficulty talking clearly, and even her students' parents have been concerned that Sandy hasn't been looking very happy at work. One day at lunch, Sandy started to choke on her food, causing one of her co-workers to perform the Heimlich maneuver on her. While the scare didn't cause any permanent damage, Sandy is convinced that it is time to go see a doctor. When she finally arrives at her appointment with Dr. Wayne, she explains to Dr. Wayne what has been going on and the doctor decides to run a few blood tests. Sandy's blood work results are presented below. This case study involves comparing the symptoms and possible causes of both Jeff Slater and Sandy Thompson. So make your initial posts on the discussion board, questions that you have, things that you notice about each situation, how are they different, how are they similar, respond to another student's post, and then go back and finish the questions on the worksheet. Your discussion board posts are due by Wednesday at 11.59 p.m. The rest of the worksheet can be completed by Sunday at 11.59 p.m.